guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we want to do a quick favorites, favorite things, <laughs> I can't talk, <laughs> favorite things video. We want to share our favorite things of January with you really quick. So I don't think we've ever done a favorite things video. I don't even know what a favorite things video <laughs> is, to be honest with I've you. I've seen a lot of them, but we're just going to talk about what we're loving this month. So this video is not sponsored by anything that we talk about, just to tell you up front. We have an app suggestion, some music things that we love, and a couple products too. So yeah, we got a wide variety of things. This is really our favorite thing. Don't tell the others. Right. <laughs> Seth, and he's gotten really happy all of a sudden because we got him uh, his tummy problems figured out. So that's been fun. Yeah. We're seeing his smile a lot. <laughs> okay, I think before you go any farther, you should tell them about what YouTube is telling us to do. What's YouTube telling us to do? Well, they say they say that a lot many of you guys are followers don't are not subscribed to oh. the channel. <laughs> yeah. And so they say it's because I never ask you to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so so please subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. Yeah. And so you don't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, and then the other thing that happened, I think around December they did a big clean out of the channel and so oh. and so some of you might have subscribed have su subscribed some time back and you need to check if you are because there's a chance that you want yes for, you, for any channels you like watching yeah. yep for any channels you like watching and yep. that brings me to another point solo um pointed out to me this morning that we got an email from the family is awards which I talked about this on Instagram really briefly one of the channels that I really like which is eight passengers she, I, I watch her on Instagram, Ruby, and she was mentioning that their family had been nominated for an award for YouTube, um, for for family, and um, family mm -hmm. and so I went to vote for her, which I don't usually, I don't usually take the time to do those kind of things, but I've gotten a lot of inspiration from her vlogging over the years, and so I went to vote for her, and I found our name on that list. I was like dumbfounded i could not even believe it it's so crazy so i was telling i did an instagram story about it and just told people hey if you want to go vote for who you love i voted for ruby too i think you could only get one vote but i went and tried to vote for us too <laughs> look at that face she is he's looking at you just smiling maybe he, he thinks you're talking to him yeah yeah <laughs> yes. Oh. Anyway, that's okay. my mother. That's Let me also see. my life. <laughs> that's true. So anyway, I um, in my mind, I told people on Instagram, and then and in, in my mind, like we are nominated with maybe just eight people or something, something like that. Yeah, and a lot of them have millions of subscribers. Check out our subscriber count; it's not in the millions. And um, so I just kind of thought, oh, it's just. It's amazing and an honor to be nominated with these channels and a couple of them we watch and we love them so um, it was just crazy to me. Anyway, we got an email this morning that we're in the top three. I can't, I can't even believe it. So the and voting, the voting ends today, is it? No, the voting ends the 31st um, oh, at midnight or something. So we'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to vote for us and just see what happens. Or vote for whoever you want. Just yeah, vote, vote for someone. Yep, yeah. or vote for whoever. I don't even know who all the top three are. They just told us that we're in the top three. So, because when I went and looked at the list, it was still the same eight. So, anyway, that is crazy. Okay. Thank you guys. Whoever voted, you thank guys you are so awesome. much. I, I don't even rock. know what to say. You're I'm rock. speechless about it, but it, it's crazy to me. Anyway, let's yes. get on to our favorite things. Music wise. Music. I'm a simple man when it comes to music. I hit repeat, 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 repeat. That's so true. I have like three praise and worship music that I've been listening and some over of them and over are again. from the eighties. Oh uh, yeah, the eighties are just those ones are just no nine. He listens to if 90s. you're if you're a long term Christian, you'll know like he listens 90s. to Darlene Check's Shout to the Lord album. Over. Oh. That, that was, <laughs> Can we move that, on? That, that, that get, just gets me closer to God every single time. So anyway. Oh my goodness. Well, um, um, I have been listening to, what's the song we've been singing at church? It's so funny. Waymaker. Waymaker, yeah. And then there was another that song one. also, um, uh, the one I was pl playing over and over with Eli. What is it? I can't even think of the name. But I know it keeps repeating like... Uh, uh, the, the Kanye I know, West? No, no, uh, no. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's not the one I was referring to. But the other one is like, believe it or not, I've been listening to Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. God is. God is. Now... That's on the Jesus is King album. Right, right. But my favorite was not the Jesus is King album. 
is the one he did live at Joel Austin's church. Yeah. Because it just seemed very, very authentic uh, coming from his soul. And that one just gets me, I think it's just really cool. I just can't believe it. Okay, so, we'll figure out the other song too. And everything we talk about, we'll just link in the description box if you want to see more about it. it. Mm -hmm. um, if we can, we'll link it. And well, How about you, songs? What are you... I, it's Kanye West for me right now too. <laughs> the it's, same song? No, it's the one he released on, the album he released on Christmas Day. That is just up my alley kind of music. It's called Jesus is Born. I love the whole, I love the whole album. In fact, Judah was a anticipating the album, waiting for it Christmas Day. He comes down the stairs, he's like, Mom, you're gonna like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. He said, Judah was like, hey, if someone told you at the beginning of 2019 <laughs> that you'll be listening to Kanye West, we what would you have said? I was like, yeah, you're, you must be going crazy or something. Yeah. But uh, amazing, things, things can happen, things life can change, change you know. <laughs> An encouragement to someone that's yeah. going through something that you can't see any light. You can't see a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, things can change. That's right. And God can surprise you. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you about an app I have, and it is free. Woo! -hoo! And it will change your life if you have email on your phone. It's called unrollme.com. Unroll me. And you, this is what it looks like when you open it. Guys, unroll me doesn't even know I exist, so this is not something they told me to talk about. But you hit um, roll up and it it starts showing you all the emails that you have now been subscribed to and so if you swipe left it automatically unsubscribes you from all of them so it's like I do it about once a month I go in there and I look root insurance company yeah I don't want to be subscribed to them and I just swipe left swipe left swipe left and if I want to keep it I swipe right and if I'm not sure I swipe up and it'll show me again the next time now what's the catch no catch it's amazing <laughs> I used to go in every email and have to search for that unsubscribe thing and then you got to sometimes type in your email address it takes forever this is super fast and easy totally worth your time okay what's your next thing uh, this year I've read a couple books that I read in the past uh, one is pastoral and the other one that I, I picked up I read it maybe probably almost maybe 20 years ago but it's amazing how you can go back to the wisdom of the old yeah <laughs> and I get a few things that are I'm oh, getting yeah, a lot a good one. I'm I getting a lot of inspiration from the seven habits of highly effective people I think I read um, the um, first two habits about 10 years ago <laughs> I need to read the rest of it yeah here's, so, here's what it is so are you liking it yeah I am I am liking it I think it's great refocusing talking about priorities and uh, yeah dealing with only what's important so i'm getting a lot of inspiration from it so yeah that's mm -hmm. awesome okay i've got a couple products for you and they're all are you reading any books have you read any no. books this year i have a stack of four that i'm trying to read i just told my grandma hey grandma i got i got some books for you she's much faster than i am right now in this season I'm like why don't you just read those four and then tell me what's good <laughs> so i'm gonna take my four books to her yeah maybe maybe another time i'll have some books for you um i have a, i have a stack of four that i'm really excited about though <laughs> okay i am loving this bar all these the, i have three products for you quick and they're all from amazon i'll link them below but this bar is called rub away it is a stainless steel bar and it it's like magic it takes the onion and garlic smell off of your hands so you can use... Can you smell it? No, it smells like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so you just rub your hands under the water with it for like 30 seconds or something, like you would a bar of soap. And magically, your hands smell better. I know, it's weird. It's you weird. can just rub your hand in a stainless steel bowl too, and it gets the same effect, but then you feel like you gotta wash the bowl and all that. So this is a product that's under $10, and <laughs> I just think it's really fun. It would actually make a good gift. Another thing I love, it, I'm loving right now is I just got this pack of 20, um, their meal, what are they like? These are food prep things really, um, for the food preppers, but I'm gonna use them. We have a trouble day of our week where we end up in the car for lunch a lot, and so I want to um, avoid fast food or scrounging around at the last second, and prep some lunches with these. They, they end up being about a dollar each off of Amazon. I got a stack of 20. They're dishwasher they're safe. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe, but I think they'd also be really easy to just wash out. Um, the reviews are really good about them. It's just that liquid would seep through, so if you um, want to store liquid in them, you wouldn't want them. But 
or like applesauce or something. But I think this will really help us because I could stack them up in a big bag and just take it in the car with us. For road trips, I think it'll help. Look at, whenever I, you're in this position, I wish I could it's show like, you his face. I love face. my mother. He, just, he looks at his mother. Look at that smile. I love you. He's a cute man. <laughs> anyway, I'm liking these just Maybe to she, get If I turn there. around, he changes. I wish I had a camera behind me. You'd see. Yeah. Just, <laughs> okay, the other thing, I think even airplanes, I think I could even use these like Maybe. to pack stuff for planes that it would be helpful um yeah we'll see <laughs> <laughs> with all the hit, air pressure and all okay that. here's my other thing i got the um at the beginning of january i got the kitchen aid what is this called <laughs> blender <laughs> it is so nice i got one that matches my kitchen aid mixer and we have had we haven't had a blender for six months our yeah. blenders always break We've gone through so many blenders in our 17 years of marriage. So anyway, the reviews on this thing are excellent. It's like a lifetime thing. I had some go wrong with my KitchenAid mixer once and the company just sent me a new one, no questions asked. And I just sent the old one back and they gave me the all the, it, it was so easy. So this thing does all the same stuff that the, are you okay? Yeah. That the Vitamix does and it's half the price. And um, yeah, excellent reviews, and I'm hoping it lasts a long time. So that feel good. <laughs> you that feel oh, good. Gross. No, I bought it. I didn't get it to book. Anyway, guys, it's so good. We love it. The kids and I are all finding we do hot stuff in it, um, smoothies in it, and it's been working great. The only thing some people don't like is that it's plastic on top. But yeah, we haven't had any problem with it. And actually, it's really heavy. So with the glass, it would be super heavy. So anyway, that's something I'm loving. Uh, a lot right now. I, I know. I know another it. thing. You I've really never like. spent. I've never spent that much money on a blender? blender before. But we've spent more than that in our marriage on blenders before, and we have no blender to show for it. I so think the, the, I have oh, high hopes for it. I don't know how much it cost, but uh, <laughs> the other one was not that cheap. The one we used to use. Yeah, we had a Ninja before. No, yeah, but Ninja Bullet. Oh yeah, we had that too. Yeah. But that broke. We've had two of those. Nope. They, they don't last that long. They don't last that long. So I have least, high hopes for this kitchen. Not at this house. Anyway, it does nut butter even. Did I say that? That's yeah, amazing. I know one other thing you like. Okay, what? It's that uh, little thingy in the girl's bedroom. What is it called? Oh, <laughs> I love that thing. It is incredible. It's like <laughs> the reviews for that were I don't even know too. what it's called. Okay, it's called a Mella. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. Oh, you don't need to get it. Yeah, it's kind of short. Mm, where's my coffee? Okay guys, this is Mella. I unplugged her to bring her to you, but usually she's lit up, she has a face, and then she has a night light here, so you can pick what color you want. And at seven in the morning is when we have the girls get up. They were coming to our room earlier Six. every day. Yeah, so it works like a charm. It is amazing. She turns green when it's time for them to wake up. She actually turns yellow half an hour before they wake up, so they're allowed to quietly play. But yeah, they, they, they come to our room now when she says, we actually made it, after it started working at seven, we changed the time to 7.10. Now we're working towards 7.20. <laughs> we would like, wait, could they stay in bed till eight? <laughs> no, that would be awesome. No, but it works so good. There are a couple options. I almost got one that's about half the price that, um, but this one has a sound machine and we were needing a sound machine for that room too. So that's why we picked this one, but I'll link both of them. And I think both work if you're just looking for the, um, the wake up time. It is a dream. I love it. And our kids are like, Mel's awake. They come to us in the morning. Mel is awake, so that's what I'm loving. Thank you for reminding me about that one. I forgot. Yeah, look at. All right, Mister. He just Are wants you his mama. Have you had he it? Wants his mama. <laughs> mm, it's time to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for sticking around today. Do you have any other favorite things? Not really. I hope Hopefully that you're. Not a things uh, person. No, I'm not a things person. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I hope your 2020 is off to a good start. I yeah. wish you all the best. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Go vote. Go vote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.